Hello there. Few things before we start. Number one, these are my favorite weapons of these categories, not yours. If you don't like them, that's okay. Number two, no kit guns. Number three, this video is going to be a little bit different from the other ones because I'm going to showcase one sniper rifle, one semi-automatic rifle, and then one burst rifle. And number four, I'm running corrosive projection on my Naros, and I also have three vigilante mods on my companion's weapon. So if you get these weapons and they don't seem quite as strong as they did in this video, this is why. And let us start it off with what I consider to be the best semi-automatic rifle in the game, the confusingly spelled Kuva Chakur. For the build, we run Galvanized Chamber, Scope and Aptitude, as well as Primary Merciless. You could run Primary Deadhead for the Headshot Multiplier, but I really like the extra reload speed I get from Merciless. Now, with the Chakur, I actually really like doubling down on crit chance with Critical Delay. This gives you 150% crit chance before Galvanized Scope kicks in. That's a lot. And outside of that, we run Vital Sense for critical damage, Rhyme Round and Malignant Force for Vital and then Internal Bleeding. Internal Bleeding is absolutely insane on the Kuva Chakur because the Chakur comes with a forced impact proc on its hit and it has a low enough fire rate to give you the double bonus from Internal Bleeding. So 70% of the time when you shoot something, you're gonna proc Slash. Now running Internal Bleeding on the Kuva Chakur isn't entirely necessary unless you're doing some proper end game stuff because the upfront damage on the Chakur is very high. So if you're just puffing around on the star chart, you can replace it with Prime Firestorm for more AoE. The Kuva Chakur was a bit of a meme when it first came out because you know, it had good upfront damage, but it was mostly impact, so it wasn't all that popular. And then internal bleeding happened, and almost overnight, the Kuva Chakur went from a bit of a meme weapon to basically the strongest single shot weapon in the game. The kind of damage it does is just gross, and it feels very good to use. It's essentially an elephant gun, and it's very, very fun. I would highly recommend it. The damage is so high, in fact, that it sort of bypasses status resistance because you can take down an acolyte in two or three shots, no problem. So all in all, an absolutely fantastic single target weapon that has a decent amount of splash damage on it as well. Up next, we have the sniper rifle. This was a difficult choice, but in the end, I gave it to the almighty Rubico Prime. Now, the build here might seem a little bit strange, perhaps unfinished, but that's because you don't really use sniper rifles in normal missions. Let's be honest here. Sniper rifles are used almost exclusively for bossing nowadays, which means that things that require ramp up, like galvanized mods or even arcanes, are kind of useless, which is why I don't have an arcane and I'm not running any galvanized mods. I'm instead running serration for damage, split chamber for multi shot, vital sense for crit chance, critical delay for crit damage, hammer shot for more crit damage that doesn't require any ramp up, and then we have Stormbringer with Hellfire for radiation and prime cry rounds for a lot of cold damage. That doesn't mean this build is bad. When we use it against an enemy that's actually weak against radiation and cold as our most big bosses, you can one-shot most of them up to level 180, which is not bad. The reason I chose the Rubico over something like the Lanka, Vectis or even Snipetron is because the Rubico just works really well on its own without any outside damage buffs or ribbons. That for me is very important because it doesn't matter what frame you're running, what kinds of buffs you have access to, when you take the Rubico you're always gonna get decent results. You might not break any world records this way, but at least you can be sure that no matter what happens, you're gonna get it down in a relatively fast manner. It's just very reliable, does good damage, and it's fun to use. And that leaves us with the Burst Rifle, and after a bit of consideration, I ended up giving that one to the Sibiris Prime. The build for the Sibiris starts off with Galvanized Chamber, Scope and Aptitude, as well as Primary Deadhead for the extra damage and Headshot Multiplier. I once again like to double down on crit chance here with Critical Delay, and we of course run Vital Sense for crit damage. And to top it all off, we run Malignant Force and Rhyme Rounds for Vital and Status, and Hunter Munitions for Slash Procs. The Exilus doesn't really matter here unless you're not running Vigilante mods on your companion, at which point you might want to run Vigilante Supplies for the set bonus. The Sibiris doesn't kick a lot, so you don't need recoil reduction, and the ammo economy is very good on it, so you don't need ammo mutation either. I suppose the one thing that could help with the Sibiris is if you silence it and use it from stealth. The Sibiris fires two shots with every burst before multi-shot which makes hunter munitions extremely reliable. This is the one thing that burst rifles have over single shot rifles. Yes, the damage on them is usually lower, which results in weaker slash procs, but they're far more reliable, both in terms of status proccing, but also in terms of hunter munitions. You do have to be a decent shot to take advantage of these weapons properly, which I'm kind of not, which is why the gameplay is a bit scuffed. However, if unlike me, you can headshot enemies all day every day, you can do some gnarly damage with this thing. It is not 
not the most amazing weapon to use against status resistant enemies though because you're limited in the amount of slash you can proc on them and enemies like the acolytes are just difficult to headshot reliably. It's not impossible to take them down hell if I can do it, so can you, but it's nowhere near as good as something like the Chakur. And that is pretty much it for the video, so I thank you very much for watching. As always guys, let me know what's your favorite sniper, single shot and burst rifle in the comment section down below and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.